we're going to be looking at the slope stability analysis options in deep X. First of all, we can go in the slope stability tab here and select to perform a global stability analysis. The idea is that you can select the analysis method Bishop, Morgenstern, Price or Spencer from the drop down and also select the type of failure surface that we are looking at. We now have a circular surface, it's shown here, and we can set up the search grid by zooming out. Like this. We can also set, set up the search uh, points for the radius, we can double click there and change from the start radius plus a certain distance and also define the number of points or increments, let's say 10. We can analyze all this Now we see of course that this is not an adequate design here for the bending capacity but that's not the point but then we can click on the global stability circle and see if we have reached our critical conditions. Now theoretically if your search point is right at the edges of the search grid that's not an ideal condition. Uh, we might want to use a combined surface on the slope stability or change to Morgenstern price. Now once you change the slope stability analysis it doesn't reset your calculations but you can set uh, a circular passive or active and passive wedge, go inside the options. On the active and passive tab select the sweep angle and the same thing on the passive so you have some specified angles and you can just simply reanalyze the slope stability without having to reanalyze the whole model. Now this is taking some time. So we see how we can have a different surface, failure surface here. Now ideally once you have something like that you need to rechange again the search grid to make sure that you are including the search grid with the, the critical uh, circle point within that search grid. Otherwise you might have not captured the most critical safety factor. The tools here are used to basically draw individual surfaces or you can even draw your own failure surface. So for example we could go in here and draw a custom user surface press enter and we can use that custom surface and for example let's actually add one more point 10 and let's say minus 6.5 here let's actually re-enter it here And we can analyze that failure surface here. On the results, we can see the slices. We can double click on individual slices and see the forces. We can also go on the slope stability analysis and create a block type of surface. Or we can go inside here on the options. and see the individual options for a Bishop or Spencer the center options, the radius active and passive options for the angles for the support reactions we're using the ultimate capacities 
the type of wall capacity to include if we're shearing through the wall for three dimensional loads and tension crack events. We can also use an automatic search method. So if we go inside on the automatic search we can set up the limits let's say minus 25 for the left limits to minus 10 and for the maximum from 7 let's say to 25 the number of points 5 and the maximum number of iterations we can see our search limits here and here and we can reanalyze those search limits and we can see exactly right now what the program is doing with in terms of the search envelope now the program is shearing through the wall in this case which might not be totally realistic and we're also seeing that it's reaching the limits here of course when we're running an automatic analysis we have to make sure that the this failure surface is reasonable We can see here that we're shearing off the tieback, so maybe we need a little bit longer length. And that affects the tieback length, affects our analysis. Also, the shear capacity of the wall will uh, affect the capacity, so now we have the bars that we can change. And we can reanalyze this, of course until we get a more sensible result. The slope stability analysis that you are applying are actually the same for all the stages at this time. We will be including the option to differentiate those settings from stage to stage in the 2016 version. When we look at the results, we'll be having the slope stability factor here. And we can also go on the report report options and look for the slope stability analysis that we want to include there's also options in the slope stability so let's actually go in here and backfill So we can go in the slope stability and draw soil nails or a nail group. We can click on those nails. Use a solid bar. number 9 bar for example grade 150 we can also click in here and change the lengths and the horizontal spacing And the idea is that uh, this distance is basically, the soil nails are helping out with the overall stability. With the automatic search though, you have to make sure that you're finding the minimum surface. It might not always happen that uh, 
the automatic search method will find exactly the minimum surface or minimum safety factor. It might be close enough, but usually there are some small discrepancies in the order of 0.1 or 0.05. So we can see here basically the program having the soil nails showing their capacity. Also we have to define when we go on the soil tab on the bond we need to make sure that we're defining a proper strength for the soil nails now that might be affecting our results so you can have a different ultimate bond for tiebacks and different ultimate bond for soil nails you can also run an analysis without a wall So we'll add a blank section. So you can actually deactivate the wall, but in this case you have to make sure you run only the limited equilibrium analysis. And we can create a, a backfill situation here, for example. Or an excavation situation. Let's see here. And then we can uh, resume the limits. And run a slope stability analysis. So you can change exactly where you want those limits to be. You can also draw the water table to be a little bit different like that. So you can go with the water table. Draw a custom water surface. And you can run the analysis and run basically what is a slope stability analysis problem without a wall. So we can go in here and actually change the location of the search grid and also where our failure surface is passing from and analyze this again and see the critical surface that we're coming back with with the safety factor of course we can turn this one to one this is a distorted scale and we can go back and export all the analysis and so on again from the report and this concludes our presentation of the slope stability analysis options uh, if you have any questions please feel free to contact us thank you